Many patients find the prospect of surgery quite intimidating. This is a short video for you, the patient who's considering an ultrasound guided carpal tunnel release, to see just how easy and comfortable the procedure is. I hope you enjoy it. Here you can see one of our physician assistants injecting local anesthetic into the wrist and hand. The anesthetic has been buffered and it's injected very slowly to ensure that the only thing that the patient will feel is the first time that the needle enters the skin. After that, they really shouldn't feel anything at all. Here you can see that the setup is quite simple, just some sterile towels. This helps provide comfort for the patient while at the same time providing enough sterility to make sure that we don't end up with a post-op wound infection. The first thing that we do is an ultrasound exam of the hand and wrist. I do this to make sure that there are no abnormalities in or around the carpal tunnel that might prevent us from being able to do the procedure. The next step is to insert a needle into the carpal tunnel using ultrasound to guide us. Once the needle is in proper position, I'll put more local anesthetic into the carpal tunnel. This ensures that you're not going to have any symptoms while I'm doing the procedure itself. The next step is to make a very small incision, about a quarter inch long. After that, a special instrument is inserted to clean off the undersurface of the ligament that we're gonna cut. And the final step is to insert the special instrument and the knife into the carpal tunnel. Once it's inserted, I use the ultrasound to make sure that it's in what we call the safe zone. Once I confirm it's in the safe zone, I deploy some balloons that push away any vital structures. After this, I simply deploy the knife and cut the ligament. Once the ligament is cut, that will increase the space for the nerve and allow blood to flow. And as you can see here, the procedure's done, the patient's comfortable, and everybody's happy. After the procedure is completed, a light sterile dressing will be applied. This can come off the following morning and the wound can get wet. While this video has been edited, I'd like you to know that the whole process for this patient took less than a half an hour, and the procedure itself took less than five minutes. During the whole time, she remained comfortable and relaxed, and it's the same type of experience that we're gonna try and make sure every single one of our patients has. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I look forward to meeting you.